Daniel, a great performance out there today. You must be delighted with that. I'm, I'm pleased definitely to get to get the, the third place I was after. It feels good. Um, yeah, it started off a little bit slow. This morning was hard. You know, I did a, a run quite early and the track improved so much. So I was, I think, nearly a second off max. But so it didn't look good on paper, but, you know, the track ramped up so much. So we didn't really know what to expect coming into quality. But um, yeah, Q1 was a little bit slow, uh, but then, yeah, picked it up, picked it up. And Q3 was solid enough. So I was, I was happy to get third. How much can this different strategy help you in mixing things up with the Mercedes tomorrow? Uh, it'll definitely make me win the race, absolutely. Well, that's what we all want to see. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I got love outside as well. Uh, we'll see. I, I think it's it's just nice to do something different to them. You know, we know on, on the same equipment and everything, they're, they're probably going to be quicker. So uh, we feel it should make us go a little bit longer at the start and then perhaps bring the race to us towards the end when our tyres might be a bit fresher. There's a small matter of a championship battle at stake. Um, do you get involved in that? Do you want to win this race? I mean, how, what's, what is the sort of emotions that goes through your mind when you've got two people fighting out for their hopes and dreams? A lot of jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in their position. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously they got, in a way, more pressure than us this weekend, but I'm kind of envious of the pressure they got. Obviously, it's a nice position to be in. But, uh, yeah, for me tomorrow, obviously, if the win's there, I'll, I'll go for it. There's no, there's going to be no holding back. But, uh, but obviously there'll be that, you know, part of respect which, um, which uh, you always got to have. And you know, obviously in their case, there's a title on the line. But uh, if they leave the door open and I, and I think I can pass, then sure, I'll, uh, I won't, I won't make it easy for them and, and let them sail into the sunset. They still might do that, but hopefully, hopefully not. Well, Max, you looked so quick all weekend. How are you feeling about sixth? Oh, very disappointed. Yeah, I mean, the whole qualifying up until Q3 went, went very well. I mean, um, no issues, didn't touch the car. Yeah, and then um, the first run in Q3, I, sector one was fine. Um, nothing special, but then Q, uh, well, run sector two, sorry. Getting a bit confused here. I, uh, I locked up, I went a bit wide in 11, so lost two tenths compared to my previous lap. So that was not ideal, but, you know, so it was a, it was a reasonable lap. I was quite close to two third. And then, you know, I went for it in my last run. Again, I was like one half tens up in sector one. And then I arrived to the same corner again in 11 and I locked the outside wheel. So I just went yeah, absolutely wide. And you know, if I, if I could do at least, you know, a decent turn 11, I would have easily picked up one and a half tens or something. And then it looks completely different, you know. So the pace was absolutely there. Just, um, yeah, I mean, a bit unfortunate from my side. I mean, I'm uh, very disappointed in myself today. You've got this different strategy as well on, on both cars. Is that a strategy that work, would work better, obviously, if you were starting an awful lot further up, or is there still opportunities to be taken tomorrow? It would be, uh, of course, much better to start third with uh, such a tyre. I mean, uh, now I, I got even more pressure from behind in the start, but, you know, we'll see. I think the Supersoft shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad in the start compared to an Ultra.